it's Dan Abbott. I'm making this video for my AEDD 100 class in print reading at Southern Maine Community College. What I'm going to do is show you how you can bring a PDF file into AutoCAD and scale it so that you could use AutoCAD to answer some of the questions on the current assignment. The current assignment is involves the Smith Residence set of plans, which is a set of residential plans that include um, a lot of information and all the questions that you have to answer involve areas and linear dimensions and some other things. So one of the things you can do if you um, can't do a plot out of, of this, and these are three foot by four foot drawings. So plotting them at home would mean either plotting with a tiled version where you can take the PDF file and break it up into tiles or plotting it in such a way that you can calculate a scale. And I have a video that I attached to the assignment to show you how to do that. But just quickly, how would you use AutoCAD if you were an AutoCAD user and you want to use it to come up with things like areas and distances, etc. So this, um, for instance, is one of the pages from the set of plans. This is the foundation page, and you see that it's a quarter inch equals a foot scale. It was originally um, drawn and then plotted drawn in AutoCAD and then plotted out on a sheet of paper that was D size, so it's four feet long by three feet high. So what I've done to answer these questions is I brought every one of these sheets into AutoCAD. If you take a look, the sheets themselves have all been scaled up. So these are not the same size as a sheet of paper. What I did instead was scale them up so that if I wanted to know, for instance, what a certain distance was. I could use AutoCAD's dist command. And I could say, what's the distance from here to here? It tells me it's six feet six inches, which is exactly what it is because I scaled all of these drawings up to full size. So here's how you can do that. Start a new drawing. Use the ACAD inches, ACAD.DWT. Set your units for architectural. Go to the XREF command. Under the XREF command, go to the drop down with a little arrow and say you want to bring in a PDF file. When you bring the PDF file in, you have to go find it. That's what I'm doing right now. Now you can bring in, this came in as one set. <clears throat> I mean, it was saved it as one set. When you go to open, PDF files from it, it'll show you every single page. Now what you can do is to copy them all in if you want. Then you have to put them in one at a time. What I'm going to do is just grab one of them for now. Bring it in. I'll indicate on the screen where I want to put it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I'm also going to leave the scale for now. So I'm just going to put this as 0, 0. Now this is what it looks like. Now if I were to do a dimension a distance from here to here, it's going to tell me that distance is 12 feet. That is clearly not the distance either of the, that doesn't represent the size of the building, nor does it represent the size of the sheet. So even knowing the scale isn't going to help me with this. What I can do though is this, go and find somewhere on the drawing a dimension. So there's a 36 feet there. I'm going to scale the last thing I brought in, which is that PDF file, from 0, 0. And here's the key. Pick the reference option. Go and sn snap to a distance that you know based on what you've read. Say, make that distance 36 feet. Now the whole thing scales up. Now because you use the reference option, if I went in and I measured anything, for instance, if I measured the distance from here to here, nine feet so it's nine feet exactly and this is likely to be very precise since the original drawing was done in AutoCAD and then used to create a PDF file so almost anywhere we go if we check this out the distance from here to here for instance should read 16 feet and it reads 16 feet right on the money in fact even if I go and set this to the smallest possible increment and I say, what's the distance from here to here? It's only off by a 32nd of an inch, even a little bit less than that. <clears throat> so this is very, very close. 
and certainly close enough to make some estimates. So for instance, the mud room, including the, the uh, coat room and the powder room, if I were to draw a rectangle on here, and then use the area command with the object option, and select the rectangle that I just created, it'll give me an area in both square feet and square inches. So it's about 243, and you could just round that to something close for some of the estimates you're doing on this assignment. Distances you can get by using the disk command, or you can use the polyline command. In the polyline command, you could just trace out on top of things, and you can snap to a PDF file if it was created with AutoCAD originally. Right, come, on, come over here. So what I'm doing right now is saying, well, what would be the area of the entire house? I could go in existing office. I'm going to include everything. I could go in and just put a pie line around this whole works. And that will give me a very close approximation of the area. If I say, what is the area of an object? And I say, what's, the, what's that object right there? <clears throat> 2,174 square feet is that entire shape, which sounds about right. And if you wanted just a linear distance, if I say, for instance, how long is the uh, interior wall that encloses the mudroom, you just draw a polyline that goes like this. That polyline has one length because it's a polyline so if you pick it right click and go to properties and the properties over here it's going to tell you how long it is and the length of that is 31 feet 11 so it's about 32 feet 